Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is March 29th, 2021. And today, uh, Joe Biden gave a, a COVID-19 response and vaccination update. And they began talking about the most important days in their vaccination effort between April 19th and May 1st. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I want to play a little portion of this uh, speech he gave today uh, where he highlights April 19th through May 1st. And then I'm gonna show you the importance of those dates on the calendar they are following. So let's uh, go ahead and play this. Just a short clip so you can focus on the dates that are being uh, promoted now between April 19th and May 1st. And so where does this put us? We're making progress on vaccinations, but cases are rising and the virus is spreading in too many places still. That's why today I'm taking these steps to make our American turnaround story, our vaccination program, move even faster. Thanks to all the work we've done these past 10 weeks, the added steps I'm announcing today with them, I'm pleased to announce that at least 90 percent of all adults in this country will be eligible to be vaccinated by April the 19th, just three weeks from now, because we have the vaccines. For the vast, vast majority of adults, you won't have to wait till May 1. You'll be eligible for your shot on April 19th. Finally, 10 percent will be eligible no later than the final 10 percent will be uh, eligible no later than May 1. And as I just said, due to the steps we're taking today, 90 percent of Americans will be within five miles of the location where they can get a shot as of April the 19th. So we're moving toward 90-90 by April 19th. That is, by April 19th, three weeks from today, 90 percent of adults, people over 18 and over, will be eligible to get vaccinated. 90% of all Americans will be living within five miles of a place they can get a shot. And of course, it'll take time for everyone to get their appointment. It's a big country. And as fast as we're going, we still have a long way to go to finish this vaccination effort. Okay, so the focus here is between April 19th, where 90% of Americans will be eligible and vaccinations will be available by April 19th and the final 10 percent of Americans will be able to be vaccinated no later no later than May 1st okay so I wanted to uh, just bring to everybody's attention the calendar that they're following from April 19th through May 1st. I'll leave this link for you as I will leave the link for the video I just shared. This was today Joe Biden giving remarks on COVID-19 response and vaccinations. But the calendar that is being followed here is the calendar for occult holidays and sabbats. And I'll read here just the beginning of this. As we have repeatedly stated, the Satanists believe that numbers contain inherent power. Thus, they literally order their lives by occult numerology. Such numerology also is a key component in astrology. Another system of divining that Satanists observe very closely. The occult calendar is divided into four segments of 13 weeks each. The number 13 is considered divine by the occultist for a couple of reasons. The Bible assigns 13, the meaning of rebellion against constituted authority, plus the depravity that caused Satan to rebel against God. 
The cultists assigned six to represent the number of man and the number seven to represent the number of divine perfection. Thus, as a person climbs that Jacob's ladder towards self-perfection in the realm of the occult, the number 13 represents the state of divine perfection, self-achieved perfection, and illumination. 6 plus 7 is 13. Thus, the occult calendar is comprised of four periods of 13 weeks. And we list these periods for you below. So I want to bring to everybody's attention the second portion of this. A minor Sabbath does not require human sacrifice, but the major Sabbaths do require human sacrifice. Spring equinox, 13 weeks between the spring and summer solstice. Okay, But within this second uh, section, with this second uh, time period of 13 weeks, okay, we have this period of time between April 19th and May 1st, okay? And within the 13 weeks here, we have a time period of 13 days, okay? May 19th, I mean April 19th through April 28th is 10 days, April 29th, April 30th and May 1st, 13 days. April 19th through May 1st, okay? This is the exact dates they are using to promote their most aggressive vaccination effort. They're hoping to have 100% of all Americans. They're on a 90-10 plan 90% by April 19th and the final 10% by May 1st. They're hoping to have all Americans vaccinated by May 1st between April 19th and May 1st. So it's a 13 day time period. Okay. What is this? April 19th through May 1st is blood sacrifice to the beast. Fire sacrifice is required on April 19th. April 30th to May 1st is Beltane Festival, also called Walpurgis Night. This is the highest day on the Druidic Witches Calendar, okay? This is the highest day on the Druidic Witches Calendar. May 1st is the Illuminati's second most sacred holiday, okay? Human sacrifice is required. This is the second most sacred holiday. Obviously, their most sacred holiday is October 31st, Samhain, Hall Halloween, Hall All Hallows' Eve. This date is the Illuminati's highest day of human sacrifice. But the second highest day of human sacrifice is May 1st, okay? So, I am just sharing this information with you. Okay, I'm not going to go into all the history of Beltane, um, but I'm giving you the information so you can see this in plain sight. How many of you want to participate in the satanic rituals of the United States government? Blood sacrifice, human sacrifice, sacrifice by fire. Okay, so I'll leave the links for you in the description box. I just wanted to share that uh, with you. As soon as these dates came up, um, I knew exactly what uh, I needed to share about this just to get the word out there. So um, nobody is in the dark, okay? So please help share uh, this message. Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. Repent. Be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall be saved, you and your household. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, repent of your sin, sins, accept his sacrifice that he gave for you on the cross of Calvary. Because the time is so short 
Jesus is coming very, very soon. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people.